Sevenos Tsitsipas versus Yuri Lehechko is the second quarter final for the Men's Australian Open for 2022. And both players have had to fight to get to this stage. Lehechko started the tournament off unseeded and took on the number 21 seed Chorich in the first round. And he breezed through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3, 6-3. In the second round, he took on the wildcard Eubanks. And after dropping the third set, Lehechko ended up winning in four, 6-4, 6-4, 3-6, 6-3. In the third round, he took on the number 11 seed Norrie. And after a very close tiebreaker in the first, he'd be forced to come back from two sets of one down to win in five, 6-7, 6-3, 3-6, 6-1, 6-4. In the fourth round, he took on the number six seed Oja Aliasim, and again would have to fight from a set down after losing the first set, eventually prevailing in 4, 4-6, four, 6-3, six, six, seven, six, seven, six, to get to his first major quarterfinal. Sebenos Tsitsipas started the tournament off as a number 3 seed and took on Hellas in the first round and would get through in three tight sets, 6-3, six, 6-4, six, seven, six. In the second round, he'd take on the wildcard Hichikata, and this was Steph's most impressive performance, dominating in straight sets, 6-3, six, 6-love, six, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Grigspor, who'd won a tournament earlier in the season before the Australian Open, but it didn't bother Steph who got through in straight sets, 6-2, 7-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 15 seed Sinner, who he'd played at last year's Australian Open. And this turned into a classic. After Steph took the first two sets, Sinner would fight back to force a fifth, but Steph would get through in five, 6-4, 6-4, 3-6, 4-6, 6-3, to so advance to another Australian Open quarterfinal. This would have only played the one time before. That was in Rotterdam last year, with City Bass getting the win in a close three setter. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Hedgeka does, especially after all the players that he's beaten this week. If is going to win, he's going to have to take his chances. It's something that Sinner didn't do against City Pass. City Pass gave up a lot of chances. Sinner didn't take them. If Lehechka does take his chances like he has been against some of the better players in the draw so far, then he might be a chance. If City Pass is going to win, he has to limit the chances. He has to serve a lot better and try and get a lot more free points. He played very well against Sinner when he needed to. But when he was up two sets of love, he did kind of take the foot off the gas. He needs to get out of this match as quickly as possible if he is going to go on and win the whole thing. This is going to be a very fun match because you've got the guy who we all expect to possibly lift the trophy or maybe make the final. And a guy most of us didn't hear about before this week. But I'm going to go with City Pass in four sets. I think Lehechka just had a dream run. He's beaten some of the best players on the planet. But I think City Pass, it's his time in the Australian Open. And he's got a great draw. He'll take advantage of that. I've got Steph in four sets. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this match?